Hey guys, I've had a couple of my viewers ask me to do a video on uh, pistol shooting, how to become a, a better pistol shooter. I've been shooting pistols since, well, about the mid-1970s, so I've been doing it a long time. But what we're going to do today is we're going to cover two things, sight alignment and trigger control. Four words you're going to hear a lot in this video today, sight alignment, trigger control. <clears throat> two biggest mistakes that a new shooter will make is when he pulls his gun out, he's looking at his target instead of his front sight. Another mistake he'll make is he'll jerk that trigger. He develops a bad flinch and once you do that it's very hard to get rid of. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that jerk. And no, I'm not talking about your brother-in-law. Just kidding. So I'm going to assume that you're a very brand new shooter watching this video. You just bought a gun, you've never shot it, or you go out and you shoot it and you got groups like this and you want to learn how to shrink them in. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you the two biggest mistakes you're making. So I'm going to show you how to line up your sights, what you should be looking at when you actually shoot that gun, and I'm going to show you how to properly control that trigger and what you should actually be thinking about when you do pull that trigger. And hopefully at the end of this video, you uh, will become a much better shooter. So let's get started and take a look at sight alignment. Okay, I'm going to show you how to line up your sights real quick. You have your target, you have a front sight, and you have a rear sight. Now you want to take that front sight and line it up with the center of your bullseye. You want to take your rear sight and move it around a little bit and line it up so it looks like that. You want the front sight, the top of it even with the rear sight, and you want that front sight centered in this notch right here. You want the same amount of light on both sides. That's what your sight alignment should look like. Okay, now you know how to line your sights up, but now what do you actually look at when you pull that gun out and you want to hit your target? Like I said, most shooters are going to look at that target and I want you to think about something. If you're aiming right here and your bullet hits right here, the instant you fired, your gun was pointing right here. You didn't know that because you weren't looking at the sights or you flinched, but we'll get into that flinch here in, in a, just a moment. But again, rear sight, front sight, and your target. You have to be looking at your front sight when you shoot. Now let me show you an easy way to uh, learn how to do that. I want you to stick your thumb out and just look at the tip of it. Use both eyeballs and focus right on the tip of your thumb. Now this thumb is actually your front sight, okay? So when I say thumb, we're talking about front sight. Just focus both eyes on it, move it around, bring it up close. Your eyes almost start to cross. Okay, that is not the correct sight alignment, okay? You do not want to look at your sight like that. Now, I want you to look at something on the wall. Assuming you're in your computer room, living room, look at a picture on the wall and focus on that. And while you're focused on that, bring your thumb back up, but don't quite look at it yet. Look at that picture on the wall, and you'll notice two thumbs there, okay? You got two eyes, you're focused on the target, and you can see past your thumb on your target, and you got two thumbs, correct? That's the proper side alignment right there. You're almost there. Now, take your eye and Again, while looking at your target, bring that thumb in focus, okay? But you still want to have two thumbs, but now you can look right at that thumb. And you can line it up with your, with your target on a wall. That's, that's, what, that's it right there. Okay, once you can master that, you just learn how to do your correct side alignment. Now take your, rear, take your other hand and make a rear sight. And just kind of line everything up again looking at that front sight just like that line everything up and bam once you learn how to do that you're, you're going to see your target uh, groups shrink in quite a bit now take your rear sight and put it in your pocket so you don't lose it okay now just sit there and practice and boom line up your sight on your target boom boom you know what, I know that looks silly, but you know what, it works. It really does. 
and it doesn't cost anything to do it. Get in the habit of doing that, and once, once you put that in your memory, then it's very easy to look at that front sight while you're focused on your target, okay? Now you just mastered your front sight. Now let's talk about trigger control. You know, when it comes to mastering a pistol, the hardest thing to master is actually the trigger pull. Most people, especially new shooters, they flinch. I got a uh, 357 Magnum here, it's a Ruger, it's unloaded. We're gonna be shooting this here in a moment. But a new shooter, he'll bring that gun up and he'll flinch when he fires. His brain is telling him to compensate for that recoil, so he's jerking down and it doesn't work very well. If you're aiming right here and you're hitting low, a foot, two feet low, that's because you're jerking that trigger and you have to learn how to control that trigger and control that jerk. If you don't do that, you're never going to be become a good pistol shooter. You can shoot a lot of rounds, but you have to mentally and physically work on a nice smooth trigger pull. Now, let me show you what a, a smooth trigger pull looks like. Now again, this gun is unloaded. If I take this and shoot a double action, just like that, practice that with your gun. Whether you have a semi-automatic, a revolver, a Glock type safety action, or action, it doesn't matter. The trigger pull technique is the same on all your guns. Nice and smooth. Now if you master the front sight like I told you, and you do this when you fire, you're going to hit your bullseye every single time. So, again, front sight, trigger control. What should you be thinking about when you actually pull that trigger? Because that's the tough part. Because most people looking at their target and they're thinking about their trigger. This is what I want you to do. I want you to bring your gun up. Now if you're going to use a real gun right now, please stop everything, make sure it's unloaded, no ammunition in the area. This is what I want you to do. I want you to bring your gun up and I want you to focus on that front side, just like I told you, okay? And just keep telling yourself, front sight, front sight, front sight. Front sight, front sight, front sight, front sight. Bam, the gun goes off. Now when it goes off, it should almost surprise you. Now if it did that, if it goes off and you get startled, well you know what? You were thinking about the sight and not the trigger. And when that happens, if you were aiming right here, guess what, you're gonna hit right here. The first time you line up your sights, and you do a smooth trigger pull, and you hit your bullseye, you're gonna say, damn, that's what he was talking about. Right there, that's it. Now I know what he means, okay? Side alignment, trigger control. If you do everything right, side alignment, and a smooth trigger control, this is what it's gonna look like with a revolver. Again, it takes a lot of practice to do that, but at least now you know what you need to do right to, uh, to hit your target. So again, concentrate on that front sight. Put, put your whole focus on that front sight, keeping everything lined up, and start squeezing that trigger, okay? You know, that's really about it. I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do a little shooting, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what proper sight alignment and trigger control looks like. Camber 45. Always watch your front sight.
That's how you do it. You know, to get good with a handgun, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of dedication, a lot of ammo, and if you find that you just don't have time or you just don't have the ambition to get out there and practice a lot and you get rid of that handgun, may I suggest a shotgun? You ain't going to miss with one of these babies. Okay, seriously, learn how to shoot that handgun. It might save your life someday. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching my video, and uh, we'll see you next time.